Hi, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Polly's uh, two videos on the um, global health uh, mafia and how they're all connected on the same boards. Uh, Bill Gates, Yale, all of them, and how they're they're all in the they're all on the boards of these different companies, but they're really the same thing, going towards the same goal. They're one entity. So, to be honest, what we've been living under for a couple of hundred years is a form of crony corporatism. Because um, evil corporations control governments with um, bribery and power. We all know that. But she has been calling it the global health mafia because she has to make people who don't understand what's really going on, uh, wake them up, so she has to give them their actual real name, which is health services, but I'm going to call it what it really is. It's the global sickness mafia, because how do you control a massive amount of people, program them to make them do what you want, if they're healthy, if they're active, and if they're yeah, one hundred, if they're one hundred, if their mind is one hundred percent open, you don't. You think if rates of heart disease were dramatically dramatically reduced, rates of diabetes were dramatically reduced, all of those diseases, do you think you'd be able to convince people? Um to take a vaccine that's got that they don't need also with tracking technology in it of course you wouldn't be able to one of their biggest weapons is keeping people everyone talks about keeping people in fear but it's also keeping people sick because if you're sick all the time you've got to go to uh doctor's appointments for pills and you've got to have prescriptions filled out and your records get updated and you're tracked and your movements are constantly tracked also um if you're constantly three times a week going back and forth for uh, uh doctor's appointments you, you're too sick to worry about what's really going on aren't you it's a huge powerful weapon but in 1973 Henry Kissinger said you control the food supply you control the population well now I believe that's been updated and in my opinion it what it really is is if you control the world's health you control the population and that includes how many sick people um, there are, whether it's through dirty vaccines and the autism and the what I ended up getting, the viral, viral meningitis and everything else and the ADD and um, what do you, whatever you like to call it, or whether it's through diabetes or you name it. The, the, the level of sickness, obesity, you name it, the level of sickness we have in this country is, is absolutely incredible, not only in this country but around the world. And that's orchestrated, ladies and gentlemen. That's orchestrated. How many times did you hear growing up, oh, don't have, don't have butter, that's bad for you, have margarine, and then a week later it's, oh, Study comes out, don't have margarine, have butter. Go, go on a high-fat, low-carb diet. Go on a high-carb, low-fat diet. It's utter, It's to keep you confused and to keep you disorientated and to keep you not knowing what to do, so you just give up. You just give up and, and lose hope. And when you give up and lose hope, you get sick. And then who knows what happens. And another thing, antidepressants, three quarters of the world are on antidepressants and they don't need to be on them. And tell me how something that 
chemically changes your brain waves can be good for you. And you if you've seen the amount of people that commit suicide after going after going on antidepressants, it's absolutely utterly ridiculous. And I'm in a wheelchair. I'm not going to do it, but because I'm in a wheelchair, if I went into my local doctor's office, said, "Oh, you know, I've been in my, I've been in a wheelchair my whole life. I'm depressed. I'm upset. You know, and everything like that." They'd throw antidepressants at me like lollies because. You know, these pharmaceutical companies give big doctors, GPs, most GPs I call legalised drug dealers, um, payoffs and holidays and bonuses for selling a particular drug. Their goal is to keep you sick. They don't want the human population healthy because they lose a hell of a lot of money and a hell of a lot of power. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that'll do. Thank you very much. Goodbye.